What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and tonight we're gonna be talking about how to find the boss, unlock a new weapon, and escape from Building 21 over in DMZ. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and let me know down below in the comment section how many Building 21 access cards do you guys have over in your inventory. Obviously, each Building 21 key card gives you one use, which means if you guys use that key card and then die in a match, you have to go back into Almazra to find the Building 21 key card to then access the new map again. And it's also been confirmed by Infinity War that this map will be available for just just a limited time so it's unclear if it'll be in a bit of a rotation like rebirth and fortunes keep War back during warzone one or if this map will just pop up for just a week straight during a single period every single season i mean it's unclear what the long run is going to look like for building 21 but i'll keep you guys posted with that there's actually more that you can unlock though than just those six free rewards through the weapon cases there's actually a velican boss fight that takes place in every single match of building 21 and this is obviously an operator from mw 2019 you guys are probably familiar with him he's part of the shadow company and you can even unlock a exclusive weapon that is not available over in multiplayer so you really don't have much time in matches of building 21 you really don't have any time to waste at all so that's why i highly recommend getting set up in matches of almazer before hopping into this map or if you have colored key cards using those to access the secret rooms right away in a match of building 21 to get your hands on three plate satchels durable gas masks better weapons some other equipment i'll be covering the secret rooms in a separate video that i have planned for the next couple of hours from now but if you are set up and if you're prepared to face off against velikin then what you probably have in your loadout is the following you can have a riot shield which is really helpful for watching your back against some of the ai which gets really really tough you might have a shotgun which is perfect for close quarters gameplay which is what this map is all about and is what is going to kill velikin the fastest as well but it's not a bad idea to also have an ar or any type of long range weapon also in your loadout if you don't have a riot shield or if you don't have a shotgun it's not bad to run an ar because those will definitely do a lot of damage to not only the boss but the other ai that's in this map now the ai themselves shadow company do drop some pretty badass weapons the raw LMG is also not a bad idea that can go against the boss pretty well so any one of those weapons is going to really be your friend here and aside from that in terms of equipment I would say Semtex and drill charges will do you the best damage against not only the AI but even some of the real players that will be on this map don't forget that when it comes to building 21 you will see four teams of three spawning in in every single match that you play so be aware of that now you could use stun grenades to also stun Velikin himself or the other AI but I like running stim shots because the AI is significantly harder in building 21 in comparison to Almazra, so you want to make sure that you health regen as fast as you possibly can. So with that being said now, pretty late into your match of Building 21, in every single match that you play, you will see a pop-up on screen that says the Velikin boss is nearby. So with that being said, you could possibly just rush towards the center of this map to force spawn him in, but in all of my experiences playing this map, it was usually towards a little after halfway towards the match itself to where he did just spawn in and would be around a bunch of AI in the area. So it's worth pointing out that he will always be located in this center area of the map this is the same room that the marketing for building 21 did preview in the season one reloaded blog post it's this exact area he'll always be on the upper level next to a bunch of his shadow company ai minions so he'll always be around here if you start hearing a grenade launcher being shot at you or if you start taking damage from a grenade launcher it's very likely velikin because he's going to be holding the rgl 80 grenade launcher which we'll talk more about in a couple of minutes but he's a bit of a tanky fella and if you ever go up to him and you're like hey that's definitely velikin you can see it's clear as day his mask that you probably recognize from mw19 and if you shoot him then he dies instantly just know that other teams on the map probably shot at him first he's usually not that simple to kill but there were a few instances where we shot at him and he just died straight away but if you find them when he just spawns in he's a bit tough to kill not as hard as a jug would be over on almazra but he's still very clearly a boss for this map and is much stronger than the other ai that you'll also see roaming around the building now keep in mind if he spawns in and nobody kills him he will fall you and he will eventually track you down when you're trying to exfil towards the end of a match got some funny footage of that where it was the very end of a game the storm was closing in which means more ai will spawn in to bombard the area to prevent you from exfilling he could just pop in and instantly down you using his grenade launcher which isn't very fun at all i believe he can also track you on other floors of this building he won't just remain here on this one but this is where he always spawns this center second floor here of the building itself just so it makes things clear if you can get up close and personal using a shotgun you can kill him pretty quick Quickly, but if you have to if you guys could strategize with your team and maybe catch them walking down a hallway you could do a leaning ability and then shoot him with your ar lmg before you can actually hit you with that grenade launcher there's many ways you could take him down but obviously if you guys are all shooting him at once he's gonna drop rather quickly but once you've killed velikin two different things will drop the first thing is a rgl 80 launcher the one he was holding while he was probably attacking you and you can actually exfil with this weapon and use it in any other match that you'd like on either almazra or building 21 unfortunately this doesn't unlock the 
weapon for multiplayer, which would have been cool. It would be cool when they just see a bonus weapon unlocked that's only available through extracting with it in DMZ, or a weapon that a boss was holding specifically, and not something where you can unlock it by doing a regular challenge like we're accustomed to. Maybe we'll get that in the future, but yeah, as of right now, the RGL-80 is exclusive to DMZ, which I think is awesome, but you'll also notice that he dropped a black access key card. I'll be talking more about the color key cards, of course, in a separate video, but this black access key card can be used in the same match, or you can just exfil with it and bring it into another match of DMZ. So where this black access card goes is right over here near the basement hallway. This is, again, the lowest possible area you can get to here in Building 21. You can walk right over here, and you'll see this black access door. Use that key card to unlock it. It's a one-use type of key card, which means you can't use it anymore after this. And inside of this room, you'll see plenty of great loot, which is perfect for regaining if anything ever goes wrong in a match of Building 21. But I would definitely recommend exfilling with this key card and the grenade launcher and saving that key card for another moment in time when you guys really need to regain and you don't have any good loot. You want to hop into a quick match of Building 21 because you have an access key card and you can go into that room and get set up really quickly with armor satchels, good weapons, durable gas masks, whatever it is you guys need. Definitely don't waste that key card in the match that you kill Velikin in. Now, I did see some cool theories all around the internet that maybe this isn't the actual Velikin that we know and remember from MW19. Maybe it's somebody out there trying to impersonate him or somebody in Shadow Company wearing his outfit, but it's not the actual Velikin. That might just be Cope. I do think canonically Velikin is dead because of what we just did here in DMZ. I love the fact that we're getting the story progressed through not just Warzone and DMZ, but also the raids. There's a lot of ways they're going to progress the story this year, and I'm really excited to see how DMZ even goes a step further with it through some of these extra maps they end up releasing, such as Building 21. Now, it's also cool that Rose did leave Shadow Company before the events of Modern Warfare 2, as confirmed over in her bio, or else she might have been the one that we ended up killing here in this map. Now, I think it would have been cool to unlock Velikin as an operator skin by collecting all the weapon cases, but considering we just killed him through this quest here, maybe that wouldn't have made sense story-wise, but they still could have released maybe a Shadow Company skin for some other operator by doing something here in Building 21. That quest or unlock could still exist. We don't know about it yet, but overall, it's still cool to go ahead and take down Velikin in almost every single match that you play, because I think whether you guys like it or not, you're going to run into him in nearly every match unless another team ends up killing him, but if you want that grenade launcher or a free Black Axis key card, then this is the way you can go ahead and do it. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on Building 21's boss fight here with Velikin from MW19? How are you feeling about the Black Access key cards, the RGL-80 grenade launcher, and what other secrets have you guys discovered here in this new map? Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.